Good morning and thank you so much for joining us today. This is a very, very important day. And well, if you are a farmer or someone who's just getting into farming, you should be very, very exciting. Welcome to the Perfect Health Show. This is the second show in many, many uh, more shows to come. So this morning we have been joined by uh, Manix Ngono, an agronomist, no stranger to the show right now. We were with him on the first episode. And well, today he joins us because he has uh, something very, very important to discuss with you just like i mentioned earlier if you're a farmer or you're getting into farming this is your show because it will be running us through some of those very important products that you can find at dynalab to make sure that you have that perfect crop that you want to have manix good morning and thank you so much for coming through this morning good morning Hope how was the weekend uh, morning to the viewers mm. how was your weekend well, the weekend was okay it was fair great yeah sure that's what we want to hear yeah. a healthy weekend huh? i think because that's the underlining word here all right so for the sake of someone manix before we get into the details of um the product that we're looking at today uh, just kind of explain uh what dynalab is all about well dynalab is a multi-level marketing company that deals in a wide range of uh, uh, products and uh, these are health products or natural health products mm -hmm. uh, for human use uh, in different, which are in different categories, like food supplements, mm -hmm. you know, we have uh, uh, products for detoxification and cleansing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have pro products for personal use, like soaps, lotions, and toothpaste, and uh, just many other uh, products. Uh, some of them are for uh, mental and the sexual health, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, basically, I think that's the, the kind of products that we have, as well as. Uh, um, all mm. yeah. And well, the good thing is, as we go on with the many shows to come, we'll be focusing on a particular product. So last week, when we started the show, uh, you briefly touched on um, DI Grow Green. And this is the product that you can see right now here that has been displayed on the table. So we uh, agreed to go into, you know, that deeper conversation today about DI Grow Green. So, yeah, let, let, let's start with it. Well, um I think we just a little recap. We 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 we, we identified this uh, product as a DI Grow Green, mm. and uh, basically it is manufactured from a seaweed. Uh, a seaweed. Yes, oh. from a seaweed. Okay. Ascophyllum nodosum. That's the scientific name. Mm. Um, this seaweed contains quite a number of things, mm. and so when researchers at our headquarters looked through the weed. They found that it had more than 12 nutrients. Okay. Also had uh, three natural growth promoting hormones as well as humic acid. Mm. And so they, they found it interesting and thought that they, sh they could work on it and mm. uh, uh, convert it from, from that state into a liquid and begin to use it as a fertilizer. Mm. And so uh, this is the state in which that seaweed has been uh, packaged. Okay. Yeah. And so D. agro green. Uh, can be used in, uh, in in different ways uh, because of the uh, what it 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 is it is uh, intended for because mm. of what it's intended for, and so uh, I, I wish to say that uh, it is a multi-purpose uh, product, mm -hmm. multi-purpose in that uh, uh, it's not only for foliar spray, mm. but farmers can use it for priming seed before planting. They can also use it for when you say priming seed, what, what do you mean there? Soaking the seed. Soaking the seed. Okay. Yes. Before. I'm trying to use the friendly oh, terms. Yeah. Here, so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's used for soaking seed before planting. So how do you do that? If if you can kindly explain. Yeah. For larger seeds such as those of maize, maybe beans, soybean, mm -hmm. uh, a farmer can soak the seed in a solution of diagrobrin before and planting. Before planting, and what happens is that the quantity of seed uh, should always be one to one in terms of uh, ratio to the volume of water. Mm -hmm. So if a farmer wants to plant, say, uh, two kgs of seed or mm -hmm. soak two kgs of seed, they'll need two liters of water. Mm -hmm. And we use this product at five mils per liter of water. So it, it is two liters of water multiplied by five mils of this product. Mm -hmm. That gives uh, 10 mils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it means the farmer needs to put 10 mils of diagrogen in the two liters of water, mm -hmm. and then the seed is soaked. Now, 
Soaking of seed in terms of the period depends on what sort of seed you are, you are soaking. Mm -hmm. If you are soaking a hard seed like that of maize, you, a farmer needs to soak about 12, the seed for about 12 hours. Like a so it's not plant. days, it's not weeks, no, it's not just months. 12 hours should be enough to kickstart the process of germination. Interesting. Yeah, for legumes, uh, it's just about 30 to 45 minutes. Mm. Yeah, because of the, 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 the kind of outer coat of the seed. Mm -hmm. If you soak it for too long, it's, it, it opens up and the seed begins to break. So uh, for tiny seeds like for tomatoes and maybe onions, I don't advise farmers to soak the seed, but they can prepare the seed beds, drill the lines, plant, and then cover with soil and then make a solution of this in a spray and spray on the lines for the seed, the seed to imbibe the solution. Mm. So and for already grown plants? For already grown plants, they have to spray on the leaves. Just to spray on the leaves. Yeah. Okay. So the other thing that diagro green can be used for is for transplant shock prevention. You know, when you are moving the seedlings from the nursery to the main field, mm -hmm. you are changing their environment. And so sometimes they get stressed. Some of them wilt, they die off. Mm. And so you don't want to lose any plant because you've invested your time, your power through irrigation, you know, and so forth and so on. Your chemicals. So, so yeah. you, you don't want to, to lose any plant. So mm. every plant is significant because a plant population in the field will determine your output mm. in the end as you are harvesting. So... Uh, what you need to do is that you make a solution of diagro uh, green at 5 mils per litre of water and then you get the seedlings. If those seedlings have been raised on a tray mm -hmm. uh, using a media called hygromix, uh, it means that the roots are intact together with that uh, material that has been used for growing the seedlings. Mm -hmm. You can get the seedlings and dip them in, the, in, the, in a cup with the solution and plant in the field. If you have raised your seedlings on, on the ground, mm -hmm. there's a likelihood that when you dip the roots of the seedlings in the, in the solution, the soil may remain in the water, you know, in the solution. So you don't want that soil to remain in the solution because this, that plant survives on, well on with this. its own temperature from that particular soil from the, from the seed bed. And they already have a relationship. Yes, there. yes. So uh, in that case, I advise that farmers can do the normal transplanting and just make a solution of diagro green in a sprayer, remove the nozzle and then drench or pour on the roots of that particular seedling plant where they've transplanted. Mm -hmm. And that will help the, the, the plants to survive that shock that normally happens and they'll establish quickly. Mm. But how often do you do that in terms of spraying for already, you know, grown plants? How, how often do you spray? Well, um, once every two weeks is okay. As a, as a bare minimum, but okay. weekly sprays are very good because you are pushing nutrients within short spaces of time mm. and then you encourage that uh, robust uh, vegetative growth. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I planted my little, um, <laughs> I planted some tomatoes, uh, yeah, and right now what I've noticed is a bit of yellowing on the leaves, uh, but this is just like two weeks, yeah, just about three weeks maybe, two into three weeks, yeah, but I've noted the yellowing with the leaves, so what is what what do I do there? Well, uh, yellowing of the leaves uh, may entail different things. Could it be the season? Yeah, number one, it could be that there's insuff insufficient nitrogen in the soil mm -hmm. that causes the yellowing. Uh, number two, it could be that some of the, uh, you, you, maybe your plants are now shooting and so there are those leaves that die off and they tend to be yellow as, as they are mm -hmm. uh, wilting and dying off while giving room for new sh uh, uh, leaves to shoot up so I, I would be able to give a, a a proper response to your to your question if i've seen the plants i so should I'll, be able to I'll tell. definitely come yeah. with I'll, I'll come with one Please. so that you can see all right yeah. so what do we have there the one with the with the red cap okay this one is is known as diagro red mm. it's another product that we are going to touch on in okay. our next show we'll specifically zero in, in into into this one and give more uh, detail to it Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So for the sake of someone who's just starting up and, well, they have no idea uh, what type of, you know, fertilizer to apply to their crops, um, how do they get in touch with you as Dynalab? Well, um, they can either call me straight uh, for any advice. My number is 0977 uh, or they can contact uh, the main office. Mm -hmm. the, we've got a front office line, mm -hmm. uh, 0211 232377, mm -hmm. 
or they can visit our our place here, our headquarters at Danalab International Zambia Limited in uh, Joseph Muller Road, plot number 26, uh, Road Spark. Mm. Uh, or those that cannot come this far, who feel like they can um, visit any of our, our other outlets, they can find us at downtown mm -hmm. shopping complex. Opposite downtown, there's another complex there, Canele House. We have another center. Um, we have another center at Arcades and also Luanika Mall in Woodlands. Mm. We also have another center at uh, Limbe Complex, just uh, direct opposite the, the post office traffic lights thereabout in Carroll Road. And uh, those that are outside Lusaka, they can visit our also places. Uh, we have a shop in uh, Livingstone, in Choma Monze, we're in Chipata, we're in Kasama, Mansa, uh, Kawe, Mumbwa, uh, Mongu, and Dola and Kitwe. I think those are some of the places where we could be found. Uh, anybody who wants to use these products, please feel free to visit on any of our outlets. Or you can visit our Facebook page mm -hmm. uh, to just have a feel of what we are doing. Right now, those ones that are not uh, uh, seeing us, uh, right away they can visit our, our, our Facebook page or just get, get into our website and, and check what Daniela is all about. Good. And well, this is the perfect health show. So if you have any questions, if there's anything that you would love to, you know, know or find out about Dynalab, uh, feel free to uh, feel free to send through that question. Or if there's anything that you would love to find out about your crops, if you're a farmer, you're getting into farming and you're having those difficulties, you don't know what to use to make sure you get that healthy crop that you want, feel free to send through those questions. And trust me, um, Manex, is one perfect agronomist and he'll be more than glad to respond to those questions so as we wrap up with di grow green um manix let's run through some of the benefits you know of using di grow green uh, for your fertilizer number one di grow green is environmentally friendly meaning it does not disturb the environment or the soil number two it has more than 12 nutrients mm -hmm. that most of the other fertilizers don't have more than 12. More than 12. Oh. Both major and minor nutrients. Okay. So and there's nothing like, no, let me buy DI Grow Green and then I need to go and buy, you know, and maybe before you know it, I'm using six different ones. Yeah. So it's you that can, effective. Yeah, it's, it, it is effective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on also uh, what soils you're cultivating in. So there are all this, this whole thing about different factors that, mm -hmm. that influence farming. Yeah. So, but in its uh, state, it's got more than 12 nutrients, Great. both major and minor nutrients. It also has humic acid, as well as the three natural growth promoting hormones that you will not find in other forms of fertilizers. Mm. Yeah, so this is a benefit that a farmer can get. DI Grow Green will um, prolong shelf life, mm. okay, of vegetables. If you cut your vegetables and put them on the vegetable tray, if you have been using DI Grow Green, your vegetables can stay on the shelf intact for some, really? for some days, yeah. 10 That's days plus or so. Even mm. fruits. Mm. Yeah, even fruits, even tomatoes. Because mm. the last thing you want is to see them going bad in, you know, in just about two days after Yeah, yeah, sure, that. sure, sure. Great. Uh, the other um, benefit is that uh, when you're using DI Grow Green, it will help to grow the leaf, to increase the leaf size. Mm. It helps to increase the making leaf it size. look more attractive, yeah, more succulent, and and mm. and, 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 and the, leaf, the, the leaf will be very big enough to to attract your customer. Mm. You know, that's the whole point. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So uh, basically, I think these are some of the benefits that a farmer would get um, using DI Grow. Nice. Yeah. Well, I know we have a lot to look at. Are we still looking at the one at the far end with the green? Yeah, it's the, the same, it's the same. It's the thing. same. It's okay. just the different package size. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, nice one, Manix. Um, anything else that you would love to add on before we wrap up? Yeah, maybe just one little thing I would like to throw in about this product. Mm -hmm. uh, it is cost effective because one liter of Diagro Green can cover an area of one hectare in a single spray. One liter. One liter can do a, uh, one hectare in a single spray. Oh, wow. Particularly when the crop is at six weeks. Mm. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, you heard it. So if you haven't tried it out, if you're a farmer getting into farming, I keep emphasizing on that because we want you to save up and we want you to get that crop, the results that you want to get from that crop. So 
Thank you so much for joining us today. We were looking at DI Grow Green. So come next week, or should I say the next episode, um, are you giving us any hints as to what we'll be looking yes, at? Yes, we'll be looking at DI Grow Red. DI Grow Red, okay. Yes, we'll be looking at DI Grow Red. So it'll it's be from the green to the red. So make sure you catch us on Thursday as we look at DI Grow Red. So thank you so much for joining us. This has been the Perfect Health Show brought to you by Dynalab. Catch us tomorrow, or should I say, catch us on Wednesday. And on Wednesday, I will be joined by Dora and we'll have something very, very interesting to look at. Thank you so much.